to have a majorly productive monthly reset. These are like my favorite days of the month just because I really go through my apartment, do a major deep clean. Like I get into all the nitty gritty stuff, you know, like I deep clean my sink, I deep clean my bathroom and dust, all the things that I don't typically do like on one of my Sunday deep cleans. So we're gonna really clean the apartment, declutter, which is my favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna go through my closet, get rid of some clothes, sell them on Poshmark. And also my closet is a freaking disaster right now because I've been doing laundry like crazy and I haven't been putting away my laundry. I literally just take it off of the drying rack and put it into my closet and there's so many clothes on the ground. So definitely need to take care of that and just get my closet all organized. Also, I really wanna organize my kitchen. That's kind of like the main focus today. So I'm gonna take care of that this morning before I head to the grocery store and do like a big grocery shop because I have like no food currently in my fridge. So I'm gonna head to Costco later and stock up on some groceries, make a grocery list and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're up to. And then later tonight, I'll show you guys like my unwind self-care night routine and also like planning um, goals and just planning like the month, all of that. Firstly, we're just gonna get organized. I'm gonna give myself like 45 minutes to take care of the kitchen and then I'll put together grocery lists and stuff and we will head out to Costco. I'm gonna like turn on some Christmas music because I feel like Christmas music will help me move quickly. neater under here finally I basically just organized all like the supplements vitamins protein powders into these two bins and then all of my bigger bowls and like Tupperware is underneath here which it does still look a little bit unorganized but it's like unorganized chaos I just feel like this is such a spacious space underneath my countertop it's almost like I need bins for everything which is not practical practical to get right now since I'll be moving out relatively soon anyways but yeah, there's just like so much storage under there. Um, and then under my kitchen sink looks so incredibly good. I just love these acrylic organizers, which you can get on Amazon and like Target as well. So I can link them for you guys. I have lots of Amazon storage or home storage stuff like on my storefront. So definitely check them out. But this bin, which is super useful, is from Target. And I just put like all of my trash bags in there, dishwasher pods, sponges, dish rags, all of that. Um, and then I just have like, of course, all of my cleaning stuff that I use. Definitely proud of that little drawer, but I'm gonna head to the grocery store now and go to Costco. I'm gonna make a list because pretty much I have like nothing in my fridge right now. I have basically beverages, sauces, and random veggies. So nothing really of substance to make for meals and stuff. So I kind of came up with a little bit of a list of things I want while I was like cleaning out um, my dry food storage and stuff, but I'm gonna compile a list and then we'll head over to Costco.
last time I've done this big of a grocery haul. It is a lot, but like I said, I've been gone from my apartment for the last two weekends, so it was nice to just do a whole restock. So I'll go through everything and show you guys because this is generally what I'll usually get when I go to the grocery store and I go to Costco, Trader Joe's, and then I was I had to get some stuff at Target, so I just picked up some miscellaneous groceries from there as well. But we'll start with Costco. I usually always get my veggies here because I go through veggies like crazy. So I got some peppers, Brussels sprouts, of course, for my nourishables. You guys know I love to make that for like a quick, easy dinner. And then I got these cauliflower sandwich thins. And I actually had these when I was home in Minnesota and they're so good. I wanna try to make like little personal pizzas with them. But I usually just put some avocado, turkey, little like sandwich stuff like that on it. And it makes like the perfect little lunch. And then some spring mix, of course, some eggs. I want to start making omelets in the morning. Some Greek yogurt, my favorite nut butter. This is, of course, from Costco. It's the almond, cashew, pumpkin seed, chia seed, and flax seed nut butter. So it's really good on top of toast. Like if you and I do a banana toast and then have this peanut butter on it or like sprinkled over my oatmeal in the morning. And then I just got some peanut butter. And then this, you guys, I'm so excited about. I got these rice ramen noodles because I'm gonna attempt to make at home ramen. I feel like I've seen it so much on Pinterest or like people's Instagram stories. So I'm still on the hunt for a recipe to try, um, but I'll definitely have to share it in a vlog when I make it because something that I'm looking forward to and I've never had like homemade ramen. So I'll have to let you guys know how it is. And then for fruit, I got bananas, grapes, some apples, um, and then lots of greens, some butter lettuce for turkey, or not turkey, taco bowls that I wanna make, and some miso crunch chopped salad. This is such a good salad kit from Trader Joe's with salmon on top. It's one of my favorite quick and easy meals to make. You could do that with some avocado. It's such a quick, simple, filling meal. I love it. And then some chopped kale, some chicken breast, and tofu for some proteins. And then this multi-grain blend from Trader Joe's, which I don't typically get, but I figured it'd be, again, like a super simple like lunch or dinner to make with some chicken or salmon, um, some carrots. And then I also got this roasted garlic hummus and some laughing cow cheese, um, some overnight oats. This is the pumpkin flavor. I'm excited to try it. Maddie, I think, tried it and said she loved it. She either loved it or hated it. I totally forgot, but I got them anyways, so I'll have to let you guys know how they are. And then I got some mushrooms course all the ingredients for the cookies that I want to make this is like a random find from Target but these are one of my favorite snacks the like little popcorners I usually get the kettle corn or white cheddar flavor but they had this new sweet chili flavor which sounds so good lastly I just got a bottle of Savion Blanc always good to just have this on hand especially lately I feel like I've been having friends over a lot for like little cheese board nights and stuff so I wanted to just get a little bottle of wine but those are all the groceries that I got I'm gonna put all my stuff away now and just get myself organized now that my groceries are put away I'm going to get to cleaning my countertops and also my kitchen cabinets so I use the Miss Myers clean day multi-surface cleaner this isn't the fall leaves scent which I stocked up on during fall because this scent is my literal favorite I love all of the Miss Myers spray they're so good and then for my kitchen sink, I just use this soft scrub oxy cleaner because it makes your sink so sparkly clean and also it like leaves a fresh scent with it as well. So I just put it on my sponge and scrub the entire sink and then also run the garbage disposal so that it like gets into the sink as well. And then lastly, before I vacuum, I'll just use this Glade carpet refresher and I just drizzle it like throughout my rug and then let it sit for a couple of minutes and then I vacuum through it and it smells so good. Like it literally permeates throughout my entire apartment and it just like leaves the room smelling so fresh and clean. I love this stuff. So these are like three of my cleaning essentials that I like always use. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby, you can give me everything I want. Everything I want. You are all I need now. It's crazy. Always dancing 
doesn't seem You're captivating me All I need is to know that I'm in your heart And never be apart All I need is not to feel so much alone So step inside my zone Baby, I can give you everything you want Everything you want Now it's time to tackle my closet, which is honestly what I've been putting off, as you can clearly see. So I'm going to go through, well first I'm going to go take care of all these clothes down here, fold things, put them on the hangers, and then I'm going to go through all of my clothes and just put things in my Poshmark bin, which I have a carpeter box back here, which I keep all of the current listings I have on Poshmark, things that I'm going to list on Poshmark like upcoming listings and new things. So I'll be posting so much on my Poshmark. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys, but um, I'm gonna probably post those like later this week. I just wanna go through and take care of like anything that I don't currently wear right now that I could sell. And then these two bags right here are for um, donations. So I'm gonna go through everything, tackle my closet, and hopefully this takes me like 30 minutes. That's the plan. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes knock this out and we'll be good. like a night and day difference in my closet you guys it's so organized now and feels so much less cluttered which is so good because I've been putting this off for a long time and I'm glad I finally just got it off my chest and finish it off not having to worry about this anymore um, but I took care of the huge bin that I had with a bunch of clothes that I want to list on Poshmark so I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures in those and then post them for you guys to shop but that was also just like taking up a huge chunk of my closet too like it looked really bad but looks so much better now i'm so happy i was able to get this organized today and also my kitchen it just makes me feel so relieved because i've been putting them both off for a long time so I'm finally happy about this apartment is all clean and organized and everything is decluttered I feel so much more relaxed I just changed into some cozy clothes and the sun is like literally about to set any second here but now this is the time where I'll like transition into the self-care part of the reset and setting goals one of my favorite things to do is set goals for each month just so that I have something that I'm working towards it's also just like really funny to look back and see like what you were really working towards and how much you've accomplished because it's easy to like get lost in your own life and honestly like not celebrate your little wins but that is so important to do because that's gonna like keep you going you know
just finished washing my face and now I'm gonna do a face mask before I head into the shower and everything. I like to just do this right before I hop into the shower just so that I can easily wash it off in the shower and get all the face mask off. But this is the Ole Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. So I'm just going to focus this literally everywhere all over my face. And it's like the brightest blue color. I love it, it's so fun. But it feels so good on my skin. And I just leave this on for like 15 or 20 minutes. So I'll rinse it off and everything when I like shower and wash my hair and everything. Nothing hits like tea at night. I love making, usually I like peppermint tea, but I'm actually out of the peppermint tea that I usually get from the grocery store. But I have this one from Trader Joe's. It's just the winter time. Um, what is it? It's black tea with cinnamon and ginger. And it's actually so good. Um, but usually a tea like this I'd probably have like in the morning or something. But I really, really like it. I'll show you guys. This is like the exact one that I get from Trader Joe's. And it's so good. My hair is like an actual lion's mane right now because I did a detox shampoo in the shower. So I just used this one from Kristen S to wash my hair. And then to condition it, I used the Verb Purple Toning and Brightening Hair Mask. So I keep this in my hair for like seven or eight minutes while I like shave my legs. And then wash it off and now I'm gonna like detangle and put some oil through on my hair. I typically focus um, any oil product for my hair like on the ends and then I'll work it towards like my scalp. It just smells so good. This is the oil oil um, that I get from Nordstrom. So I can like link it down below for you guys because I haven't been able to find it literally anywhere besides Nordstrom Online, and it's like my little favorite. I'm like almost out of it. And I also sometimes use the Olaplex one too, but I just love how this one smells. So that's why I always will toss it in the hair after the shower and then just like brush it out using a little wet brush. I like swear by the wet brush. I will never use like any other brush on my hair because it's just so gentle and I have the thickest and such long hair. I don't know how my hair has gotten so incredibly long, but I definitely need to like get it cut sometime soon, probably like when I go back home for Christmas, but I'm not gonna really worry about that right now. I can the fact that I literally look like Pippi Longstocking right now, but I just had to put my hair in these braids because I want it to be wavy this week and everything, but um, I'm so excited to go to bed because nothing beats the feeling of getting into bed with freshly washed sheets or even new, like, crisp sheets is the best. So, I'm gonna hop into bed in just a second, but I'm gonna end off this vlog here. So, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my Vlogmas videos coming soon. I think this is gonna be up December 1st for sure, so tomorrow will be another vlog. Don't miss out. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow in my next vlog. Bye guys.